Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome to Season 2 of Pyanodons. Alternative Energy has finally released, along with a huge swath of changes to all the other Pi mods. So as much as I have some Pyanodons experience, we're going to be uh, seeing a lot of things with fresh, scared eyes, because, well, Pyanodons is horrific and beautiful at the same time, and we're going to dive right in here. I have explored this map a little bit, so I know at least all the resources exist, and I will show you the settings uh, at some point. I'll also upload a, um, a save that you can sync mod settings with uh, on my Discord, and then there will be a mod list in the description below on the YouTube video, and so you guys can see what all mods I'm playing with. There's a lot of quality of life mods, nothing absolutely game-changing other than LTN, and maybe advanced fluid handling. Those are the biggest ones for sure. Um, Bob's adjustable inserters lets me turn inserters, you know, at 90 degree angles and some other ways. And then uh, mini loaders, which I actually forgot to add, but I shouldn't have too much of an issue with that in this first video at least, but I'm also gonna add mini loaders. Uh, those are the main mods that actually change gameplay. Everything else is mostly quality of life. And yeah, we are gonna dive right in here. So it's nighttime because I've been standing here for a couple minutes and I don't really know what we need to do other than the normal get iron. So we're just gonna get some iron here and throw some raw coal in here, which is three megajoules of fuel value. Oh, burner mining drills take 500 kilowatts. That's a lot. Oh yeah, they're just burning through it. And they make ash! Oh, fun. Yeah, I've seen pictures on the Discord, Pinedon's Discord, of people running around with, you know, billions of ash in the early game, so we can expect to have that pretty soon here. Um, so I am going to need copper and iron to make more burner drills. And... Air core inductors for an offshore pump. Wow, yeah, that's not normal. A lab also needs... So what are air core inductors? Copper and iron. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, that coal mine's quick. And they're only stacks of 50, which is very different than um, what many of you may be used to, which was stacks of 500. So that's one of the bigger changes in this uh, more recent update of Pi. Now, where are some trees? I did decrease the... Uh, coverage, but I still need some. Wow. Really? I thought there were trees nearby over here somewhere. Maybe I made that up. Let's try this direction. Yeah, there's some up here. Not very many, though. We might have to go on some wood woodcutting excursions. Um, and yeah, this is a good chance to talk about my channel just for a second, because many of you, uh, this might be your first Crydax video you've ever watched. If so, welcome. Hope you enjoy the videos. I also stream live on Twitch most of the time when I'm playing Factorio, and you can follow me over there to get to interact, which is always a blast. And there's a Discord where we chat about Factorio and other games all the time, so feel free to join the Discord. We have a lot of fun there. And finally, I have a Patreon, which is just if you feel like you'd like to support me and making videos, uh, you can head over there and subscribe at a few different perk levels. Um, I haven't been putting out as much content recently, just due to some personal issues, which I'm happy to talk more about on Discord. But I do appreciate all of you continuing to support me, even though I haven't been putting out as many videos every week. Hopefully this Planet Ons run will be fairly consistent. It's going to be a long one. Will I beat Pyanodons? Uh, that's a question I can't promise. The answer is yes. But I can say I want to get a lot farther than last time. And last time was chemical science. I think somewhere around 120 hours of playtime. So I do want to get a lot farther than that. And we'll see how far we actually get. And I'm going to stop at 50 logs here. Hopefully that's enough for now. Uh, yeah, that's enough to make some wooden chests here, and it looks like we actually can handcraft wood from logs. We don't have to use the processing unit for that, so we can turn our logs into wood and then make some chests. The reason I'm doing that is so we can start to accumulate some iron. What is this? What is that mess? That's fun. Wow. 
an extra added difficulty there, I guess. Um, I'm going to need some stone too. Let's see. Let me grab... Are these just five stone? Yeah, those are five stone. Okay, so let me get some stone mining. And then we'll see if we can get out of the burner phase within 10 hours, you know? <laughs> as long as we can do that, we'll be fine. Maybe we can't, though. I think the burner phase lasts a lot longer than uh, the normal in the alternative energy updates. So we'll see. I do like balance inventories on this, and we'll do a full stack. So... Uh, marked at home, I haven't exactly figured it out, but probably three episodes at least. Alt mode. Definitely want alt mode on. And that's new. We get carriagen along with stone. Huh. Interesting. But cool. I guess that's another thing to power things with, so that's good, I guess. So we'll grab that stone, which also mines pretty quickly. Are these faster? Oh, they are. Regular burner drills were only 0.5 a second. So these go twice as fast as vanilla ones on top of raw coal already mining twice as fast. So that's why it felt so fast. Okay, so we'll get that started. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Pinodons is a wonderful, difficult, lovely mod pack. And you need eight iron ore just to get one plate to start with. So that's a thing. Uh, so we'll be, we'll be slowly, slowly accumulating iron in this early phase. We're going to need a lot of these burner drills for sure. And yeah, the burner drills cover more. So putting burners on belts, you can still cover a whole patch. So that's really nice. I guess that that's a good change that makes things a little easier as you go. And then I guess I need to take one of these and put it on copper because otherwise we're not going to have enough to make more. Because small parts needs copper cable, which we cannot make without copper. So we'll get that started. Throw that. Oop. Uh, I'm just going to put that on my hot bar because we're going to use that a lot. And then carriage in as well. I assume I can put that in here. Yeah. So that's just another solid fuel source. Slightly less good than coal, but it stacks to 100. So it's actually a better... It'll last you longer with one full stack. So that's a thing. Put that on the hot bar. And yeah, we're... It's going to be a slow start. I do have the Time Tools mod if we really get desperate um, and we're doing nothing other than sitting around for a minute. I don't have any issues with fast-forwarding for a couple minutes if we have to. All right, I need 2.2 iron a piece. Or, sorry, 2.2 copper a piece. 2.2 is a weird number. How, how do we end up with 2.2? Oh, it's probably 2.25, yeah, because it's three small parts. Makes sense, I guess. So yeah, this is going to be our life for a few minutes. Ask me anything. <laughs> uh, going back and forth, getting some more burner drills. Uh, one thing I do want to look at is the tech tree. Completely revamped tech tree, and it doesn't even use red science to start with. I mean, it's still automation science pack, so this is red science, but it's just a different picture. Um, completely revamped tech tree. Now it goes to pi science pack one instead of uh, logistic science, which is normally the second one, and then you get logistic science, which is now the third science pack. So that's some serious change. Um, it looks like coal processing one is going to be one of the first main ones that lets us do the destructive distillation column stuff with coal, breaking it down into co uh, regular coal, coal gas, and tar. And then soil washing to get sand and muddy sludge. Whatever that does. I wonder if that's like tailings in some ways. Steel processing gets us a sinkhole, which is always useful. So yeah, we'll we'll figure all that out soon enough. Um, one thing I do need to look at is how do we even make automation science packs? So we need planter boxes, small parts, and native flora. 
We already have one of those things, which is small parts. So that's good, I guess. Uh, let's fill those with carriagen. Oh, wait, no. Those need to have fuel in them. Okay. Grab that. Um, so, planter box. What's that? Planter box requires ash, soil, and empty planter box, which is wood, iron, and stone. Those are all doable. As long as stone brick is the same as it normally is. Yep, that's the same. Okay. So then it's this guy that's going to be the issue to collect the native flora, which is this bioreserve stuff. Um, we're going to need the collector mark one, which requires iron, steam engine, burner drill, soil extractor, air core inductors, and small parts. Air core inductors we can make and steam engines. The only thing. Oh, and soil extractor. We can make that. And what makes a steam engine? Oh, okay. So nothing crazy, actually. So the first science is easier than it was. Um, previously, you needed to do a lot of steps to get red science in early Pinodons. And it actually looks like things have been made a little easier to get started with science rather than harder. But then they added a whole science pack to the early game as well. So I think that probably balances itself out a bit. All right, so we're going to empower those two with carriage for now. And then we just need a crap ton more. Did I not grab? No, I didn't. There we go. There we go. Crap ton more drills here. And some more furnaces. I also have the Q to front mod, which will allow me to, when I want to, um, I think it's, is it Alt-Q? Yeah. So then if I queue up a new item, it'll go to the front of the cycle, which is super handy if you've built up a large crafting queue. Also, biters are off. I totally forgot to mention that. Um, probably assumed for a lot of you that I would play without biters, especially with Planetons, but in case you were wondering, I am not going to get attacked. That is not what I'm looking for when I play Planetons. Uh, good question, Dave. Stance on back seating spoilers. Um, at least for now, in terms of like what I should be planning for, I don't really want to know. You know, if it's like I'm like, oh, that one building should be good enough for now, and you're sitting there laughing because you're like, oh, you're gonna need like five thousand of those in ten minutes. Just let me run into those kinds of issues. Um, but if there's things I'm not catching or notice, I guess back seating, yes. Spoilers, no. Maybe is the way to summarize that. I don't mind people being like, oh, why don't you turn that building sideways and save yourself, you know, five whatevers. I don't know. Um, that's fine. But at least for now, I want to kind of discover some of the new tech tree stuff on my own. Uh, we can do steam engines and boilers. So that's a thing. Do I, I... I don't even have the ability to make mining drills, though, so no, I shouldn't do that. I just realized I can't make electric mining drills. So that's a thing. Okay. I probably need a few more for coal, actually. Yeah, that's a good way to... Uh, to put it, Ethereum. <laughs> and you know, Apophenia, that is that is that's very true. That'll save me the most time if I just don't play Pyanodons. The most efficient way to play is to not play at all. How much coal actually is that? Sixteen a second. Holy cow. That's a lot. How much is in this patch? Seven million? Okay, that should last me a little bit. Seven million is a good number. It'll probably not last me as long as you'd think it would, but I don't think we'll run out in a couple hours here. Alright, I actually do need more coal though to fill up all the buildings. I guess we'll do one more carriage in here. Nine more? That's getting close to filling up Eh, we still have some space. 
All right, well, this little rock hole patch is gonna be really annoying and it's 10,000 in each of those as well. So like, ugh, I hate that. I might just have to avoid that whole spot. For now though, what I'm gonna do just to start trying to get rid of it is fill up some chests here. I don't know if that'll, I mean, how long will that take? Five, that'll take well over an hour. That'll take like two or three hours, even if I'm dumping these chests, right? 60,000 divided by two a second is so many seconds, 30,000 seconds. That's like 10 hours, yeah. Apophenia, thank you so much for the five months. Okay, let's build a lab. I know that's maybe a bit ambitious, but I want to do it. I want the science. 163 plates for a collector. Okay. That is a lot. Why don't I... Oh, that's... I was confused on where my stone furnaces were going. Yeah, exactly, Teus. It's going to mine the stone, too, so... Yikes. Okay, I do have a decent amount of stone. Copper's going okay. Throw a couple more burners onto the stack here. And... Throw those in my hotbar. So one of the mods I'm playing with is called Picker. Um, invent... No, not Inventory Tools. Picker Extended, I think it is. Um, and it lets you, if you have a ghost, um, you can mouse over it and it'll place it automatically. Uh, that really helps in the early game to um, basically just, you know, if you have a blueprint, you don't have to click as many times. You can just kind of paint over everything with the mouse. And that really helps with some of the early game frustrations for sure. Okay, need some more coal again. Let me start a new little chain over here. Right now, it's actually not the rate of the coal that's the issue, it's the fact that they can only have 50 in the inventory. I did increase my inventory size uh, with the quality of life research mod. I may need to increase it more, we'll see. But hopefully that's enough for now. I think I bumped it up by 20. And then there's the quality of life researches, which will bump it up further. I think I put a multiplier on it. Maybe it was just... No, it doesn't show the multipli multiplier here. Um, I think I put the multiplier on 3 for movement speed, so these will actually increase by 15%. I just, I don't really like the kind of difficulty, in Pyanodons at least, where you run really slow to get somewhere. That's not, I don't know, I don't need that. I don't mind walking faster. Doesn't feel like cheating to me. Okay, look, we actually have a few hundred iron plates. That's beautiful. Um... We need more copper, though. Let me get four more on copper. I think I have plenty on stone. Oh, those are full. And number four, please. There we go. Okay, so that's going to be coal in all those. <laughs> yeah, embracing the car. Yeah, I guess that's a thing, isn't it? I actually used the car quite a bit in my, um, what's it called? BZ, in my BZ playthrough. 
Ooh, there's all sorts of new buildings too. This thing looks cool. Now that's the other annoying thing sometimes about Planetons. Look at how tall the art is. You, you literally six squares behind it. You can't see. So I don't always love that, but it does look cool. So I can't complain too much. Um, that does need power. And yeah, there's all the wonderful science packs. So yeah, I guess we're just going to work on handcrafting that collector, which also uses power. Okay. So then electricity is something we got to work on here. So that means we're going to need some boilers, which produce 3.7 megawatts and these use 7.28. Weird. Oh, the max temperature is 500. Okay. So, so that means what did it say? 7.28? Did I hear that right? Um, and that's 485 degrees past 15 times 250. I think they work out to the same ratio. That looked like it worked out to the same ratio. It said 3.75. So maybe there's some rounding. But I think it's still 2 to 1. So if you don't understand what I just did, the way that Factorio calculates the value, the fuel value of steam is how many degrees past 15 degrees is it? So 15 degrees Celsius would have a fuel value of zero, whereas 16 degrees Celsius would have a fuel value of, I think it's like 100 uh, kilojoules or something. Um, and that's how Factorio decides how much power you get on different temperatures of steam. So that's why I divided by 485 because it's 485 past 15 to get to 500 degrees steam to make the 7.28 megawatts. Anyway, we need two of these. What are the, nope, wait. Yeah, no, one. Oh, it's one to one, right, okay. Yeah, it's 1 to 1, because the 7.28 would only be if it was 500 degrees steam, which it's not. It's 250. So. Oh, I think I did that wrong. I think I should have multiplied by uh, two, 235. That was my issue. Anyway, it's close to 1 to 1, if it's not exactly. So we'll throw down... Oh, I think I forgot Afraid of the Dark mod that's why everything's so dark i was like why is it so dark here i need to install that one okay so we've got water thankfully that works the same way we don't need to like fill it with fuel or anything and then we need our boiler throw that there and then steam engine and you need fuel same as always and there you go so and this is different. Uh, you have mechanical inserters, which is different than what you normally have, which is burner inserters. These don't require power. They don't require steam power, and they don't require regular power. They just work. So we can put the burner inserter there, throw down a chest, fill it with coal, and it just works. Now, does it fill it fast enough? No. So we're going to need to use the Bob's adjustable inserter time, which they go a little faster if you turn them. They go twice as fast, actually. And I might need two of them. Oops, wrong thing. Hey, Jane. Welcome. Season two start, indeed. Very excited. I don't know what we're doing, and it's great. Okay, so I'm gonna make some electric poles, which require a whole log each. Youch, that's expensive. Um. And so that'll be our power for now. We'll bring that up. Oh, you know, I never grabbed all these. I kind of forgot about the crash site. Let's grab this stuff. I don't normally make a shrine around the rocket ship, but maybe I will this time. Try to mix it up a little bit. 
Ooh, that actually had quite a few plates. I could have sped up my early game a little bit with that. Okay. Back up to the north we go. Alright, so we technically have power. Uh, I'm going to grab the lab and throw that there. And then I guess we need power over there for the bio reserves. Deep, deep. Now there is another big mod I'm playing with that I haven't talked about yet. Uh, mainly because it's not going to be relevant for quite a while. But I have the mod uh, composite factories installed. And it's a little tricky to explain exactly how it works. But the simple idea is you can take an entire build plug in some numbers to the actual mod file so it's not it's not the easiest to make it uh, make it happen but you essentially can turn an entire sub factory into one building like one entity you know like if you if you build something you've got like a hundred assemblers and a bunch of belts and everything and you just know this produces 50 uh, we'll just say soil per second and it doesn't require anything. It like feeds its own power, yada yada. You could make that building and it would just make a big warehouse looking thing that just produces 50 soil a minute and requires nothing else. So you can essentially save thousands and thousands of inserters and belts and uh, entities so that your UPS doesn't die when you have a massive, massive base. The sad part is you don't get to see it anymore. You know, you don't see the individual buildings working because it does reduce it down to just one entity, but it means that I don't have to be worried about gigantic builds quite as much as you normally would be in Pinodons. And I don't want to end up like Bold Viking with 20 UPS towards the end of the game. That would make me sad. So I'm going to try to avoid that. Yeah, marked at home, like a copyable factory Simo 2, but it still costs all the same things, so it, it's not cheaper in any way. Um, but yeah, I think we actually should be able to make some sun. Oh, I need soil. Never mind. Uh, soil, 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 which requires water. But that should be all we need. And I'll make a few pipes here. And then we can make our first science in the first episode. That's not how old Pyanodons used to work. I like that. I like that change. Gosh, I'm going to need to automate these small parts pretty soon. Also got a new icon here for industry, pie industry, that's that's new. Um, I do have another mod that makes these uh, wider. I think it's called, oh shoot, custom production GUI or something like that. Like I said, mod list will be in the description. I can't remember the names of all of them. Oh gosh, the ash. Oh no, I forgot about ash building up in everything. Yikes. I wonder if that is based on, yeah, it's the spent result. So maybe there will be some things that don't have a spent result of ash, and that will be handy. Uh, let me need to go a couple more undergrounds, so I don't have to walk as far. Shift three for the hotkey there. Same, same good old soil extractor. They didn't change that. Actually, maybe I should go towards the power poles. Actually, no, it's shift four. Shift three is the straight pipe. It's funny. I don't know what my hotkeys are until my muscle memory tries to do its thing. And then I realize I pressed the wrong button and I'm like, oh, then I didn't make the hotkey right. That's how I know. Okay, so there we go. Soil extractor doing its thing. Produces to a second. So that's should be fine on its own. 400 kilowatts. I don't really know. That's not too much, I guess. Actually, that is quite a bit. Never mind. 
and the lab is only 60. Okay. But that should let us... Oh no, the stone. Forgot about that too. Gosh. What have I not forgotten about? Okay, let me get another bunch of coal. I need to craft some more of these. These keep running out. And there goes all my raw coal. Yeah, I definitely need a couple more here. And that was also the picker mods where you can mouse over a building, you hit a hotkey and it starts crafting them. Very handy when you just need a couple more or something. Oh, I think these were carriagin or something. Whatever. It's all coal now. You two can run on carriagin. And then... These four. To make stone bricks. And also run on carriagin. Oh, I guess the miners actually are already fast enough. But that should get me automation science pack. Ta-da! Only 30 minutes, wow. Large improvement. Yeah, I mean, in the previous iteration of the alien life early science, you had to do, like, seaweed, and then you had to bake the seaweed and turn it into something, and you had to get formic acid and... Destructive distillation columns for glassworks, and it was a whole mess to get to the first science pack. I like this change a lot because now you don't feel like a total loser, and you actually do get your first science within the first hour or so. And it just feels more normal, I guess, to be able to get your first science this quickly. It'll probably mean less people end up quitting Pyanodons, which is good. Oh, don't worry, Ethereum. They added a whole new science pack to fill in for the other one, so it's not easier in any way. Don't worry. It's just, it feels better, even though it's not easier, which is good gameplay. Okay, well, that's inventory full right there for you. Um, keep all these going. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> difficulty, it's a difficulty ramp instead of a cliff. That's a good way to put it. Um, what should I even be doing right now? I guess I just need more automation packs. And soil. Okay, and then stone bricks. Okay, and we really want to start with automation, and that's going to be 20 packs. So I need to handcraft 20 packs. Espresso Dan, thank you so much for the sub. Very much appreciated. What's happening here? Oh, I know what's happening. I forgot that this is mining carriage in and stone so i'm gonna have to hand load the furnaces for stone yep that's a thing i guess okay stone yeah now you can catch the streams you get to start fresh Uh, fuel. Okay, so that should be a good stone brick input, two and a half a second. And we need eight per, but that's fine. Okay, so that'll be 18 once that finishes, so we only need two more. There we go. We are science packed up. 
Uh, I could. Yeah, I could use inserters to pull out of the chest. I was just doing it the easy way for now. I haven't crafted enough inserters yet. Um, gosh. I should probably... I'm going to do a queue to front real quick. This is where it's useful. I'm going to make a few iron chests here. Just that I can fill with all the coal that I pull out of these. Because they fill up so fast. Uh, Dan, I do actually have plans to return to SE eventually. I don't know when, but since they made the last big update, I think it's the point six update, I've been interested in doing it again at some point. And I think it will include Crastorio too. Uh, last time I did space exploration, I didn't have Crastorio. So that's the long-term plan, at least. I don't know when I'll get to it. But someday, TM. Keep all the iron running. It's actually a lot of iron. The, the burner drills being twice as fast really makes this easier. I'm pretty sure in the last iteration of Pinedons, the burner drills weren't doubled from vanilla. And that, so this all took a lot longer. And they might have even been more expensive. I don't know, in terms of iron plates. I don't have a memory that good. Um, Jane, one of the things I know it changes is the advanced processing buildings. So there's like, um, what are they called? Like a furnace, there's an advanced furnace, there's an advanced assembler, there's an advanced oil chemical plant, oil refinery, one of those two. Um, and so you can put more uh, beacons around those and that really helps in the ultra late game in the early game i think it makes things a little more complicated and difficult but i think in the long term it actually makes it and i don't know if easier is the right word but it just it feels more like it makes sense that you have an ultra late game assembler whereas in regular space exploration you actually don't so i think crest oreo 2 and space exploration go pretty well together all that to say. And no, I do not have the rocket silo construction mod. What did I... Oh, I didn't put stone in. Where's my brain? Okay. Okay. So there's a lot of stone bricks, there's a lot of copper. Still waiting for the handcrafting, oh my goodness. This is slow. I guess I could start though, I have 15 already. Look at those little robots, I'm grabbing the flowers. They're cute. Gosh, the art in Pinedons is so good. The buildings just look so... I don't know. So clean. What's up, B. Jonas? How's it going? Right now we're playing Delivery... Delivery Man Simulator. We are the bus. Mom, can't we have a belt bus? No, son, we have bus at home. Bus at home is just me. I am the bus. All right, finally, two more. Yeah, I really forgot to put these in there. That could have been going the whole time. <laughs> I guess I could craft another lab. That didn't take all that long. And then maybe I should queue up like a bunch of inserters and a bunch of belts and some more power poles, some more chests, 
some undergrounds. Yeah, you don't need a mod for transport drones. You can just be the transport drone. It's it's perfectly fun. Well, uh, spaghetti ETA is once I have belts, then we can then we can begin the spaghetti. <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna it, it'll take a little bit. Straight lines are easy enough at the beginning, but it it's it's once you start getting a lot of extra intermediates that you didn't think ahead for. It's as soon as you're planning. However much you plan for, as soon as that runs out, that's when the spaghetti really begins. Oh, those are already out of stone. Wow. Uh, B. Jonas, I didn't go that far into Ministry. It was fun, but it didn't quite... Um, it didn't get me addicted, if that makes sense. But... I did enjoy it a lot. It was a very fun concept for a game. And I haven't tried the new, like, since they did a huge update or whatever. I haven't done that one. Okay, did I get the other lab? Let's speed this up a little bit. Ooh, there's a little thingy on top. Just moving back and forth, because why not? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so there's some inserters. Those are going to be shift one. And then... What else needs to go on the hotbar? Oh, I forgot about these two. Um, I guess the belts, but I don't have any yet. Disco lab compatibility. I don't, I don't know about that. I don't know if that's a thing. Yeah, I, th I would agree with that, Jane. The fact that you had to rebuild your base after such a short time. Like, I feel like each campaign mission was really short in the tower defense sense. And so it felt like I just kept having to do the same thing over and over and over again. And I had to build the spaghetti from a mine over here to get back to my base. Yeah, I think that it was maybe each individual thing was a bit too short. I would agree. Um, Ethereum, I do have the water fill mod enabled. I have nothing against water fill. <laughs> Belts? Do we have any yet? Nope. Still doing inserters, I guess. Okay, so once we get automation, we're going to need to automate probably bolts, sticks, small parts, cables, gears, kind of all of that. Wait, no, that's not what I wanted to do. What the heck? Come on. I don't know why I did that. I guess I'm just used to taking things out of buildings. Uh, I have no idea what the quick move mod is, so I'm going to have to say no on that one. Wow, we have a lot of bricks already. We could start paving the world. Make some little walkways. Though, diagonal... Diagonals are needed. Alright, you get carriage in. You get stone. Okay, that should be enough stone for a while. 
And we're almost there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have I have that. It's called Picker Dollies. And you can scoot buildings sideways and stuff. It's really useful for chests because the chest can be full. And you might need to move it one square. And that means you don't have to take everything out and put everything back in. Very, very handy. We did it. The first research. All right, guys. I'm out. See you next time. No, just kidding. We have lots more researches to do. Oh, we have lots more researches to do. Look at the scroll bar on this thing. Oh my goodness. That is... Oof. Wow. Okay, well. What research should we do next? Does it even matter? We're probably going to need to do both of these. That doesn't really get us anything directly. And neither does this, except a tailings pond and a gas vent. So I guess we'll start with that one and then do that and then get the sinkhole and start being able to make steel. Okay. Well, I guess we gotta start automating things with what we have, which is not much. Oh, those need to be in the front. Wait, those are burner assemblers? Ooh, I did not notice that. Okay. Well, good good time, good time. Burner assemblers. Oh boy. Well, we've done that before. So we're gonna need coal on a belt, for sure. I think northeast is kind of the direction I'm gonna build towards more or less. Maybe I should go south because of the water? Hmm. I can never decide. I think I like... What do I like? Because I actually it actually matters up, down, or left, right. Because a lot of Pinodon's buildings are really tall. And I like when the tall buildings don't obscure a lot of stuff. So that would mean I want to build my tall buildings like that. And that means we want the bus to be going sideways and then the buildings go up. So I actually do want an east-west uh, bus. I don't care if it goes east or west, but... And I mean, when I say bus, that's a very loose description of what we're going to have. I highly doubt it's going to resemble anything like a normal Factorio bus, but I'm going to at least avoid spaghettiing right here, which is where I'm tempted to build everything right now. I'm at least going to go up here to do my spaghetti. And for now, what I think I'm going to do is we'll put, um, yeah, yeah, that should work fine. Ethical spaghetti. Uh, we'll put the coal in chests and then, although I actually, hold on, hmm. I'm having thinks, thinks about this because this is a burner, right? And so we're going to need, let's just put sticks here for argument's sake. So we're going to need like plates and fuel. Oh, and then ash. Oh gosh, ash. Ooh, ash is going to come out of this too. Okay. Um, so I'm thinking fuel on one side. Iron on the other, and then stuff comes out, and thank goodness they do give you a filter, so we can filter out the ash versus the stick. Okay. I'm not building it there, that's just me thinking out loud. Um, we also need, we need a lot more belts, let me just start crafting a bunch. Um... Wait, these require copper? Oh, yikes, they do. 
because of small parts. Um, because I want coal to go down here to power, power the base. So. Now, I'm going to do a thing that, for those of you who were watching my, uh, what was it called? Space block. You're going to, you're going to groan and roll your eyes at me. But I'm going to do that. And the reason people will groan is because I refused to do that in space block. But whatever. Oh, you know what? We're going to have the ash issue, though. So I'm actually going to need to do this with a filter on Ash. Where does Ash live in this list? Is it in intermediate at the bottom? No. I know I could search for it, but I want to find it. There it is. Ash. Oh, so canisters are in the coal processing, but barrels are in the... Okay. Good to know. <laughs> Yo, ew, pyanodons. That's a pretty appropriate response, too. Now, okay, whitelist, I guess, not blacklist. I was about to claim that it was all wrong, but it, it wasn't. Um, should I just make each one get its own chest for now? That's honestly easier. Okay, so these make eight a second. And each one is three, so that's 24 megawatts of power. That's pretty good. The belt only supports 7.5, though. Okay, more belts. I promise I'll get the Afraid of the Dark mod before I release the next YouTube video, because it is hard to see things. Not a fan of that. That's in the long-term plans, y'all. Um, Pentadons and space exploration. It's not just, it's not just a meme. Don't let your memes just be dreams. Also, Kamunachan, I will put your name in stone. We can do that while we wait for handcrafting. I'll put you, I'll put you over here by the steam engines. I think I'm gonna have the steam engines go down. So we'll put it right here. See if I can remember. It's been a while since I've had to do this. One, two, three, four, five. I usually do five by three. Works pretty well. Uh, except an M. Kamun. I think last time we just stopped with Kamuna. Yeah, that just doesn't look right. I'll, I'll give it the I'll give it the full. It just looks it just feels weird to. Ooh, that's kind of fun. I didn't have to delete all those. There we go. All right, so bring over the coal. And I think I'm going to come down this way. And we're going to turn this around. Just so I have a little more space. Oh, that needed to be there. OK, so we'll do boiler, engine. I don't have undergrounds, otherwise I'd use undergrounds right there. Um, and then, is three enough? 3.7 megawatts is gonna be 1.2 a second. So yeah, I think two, roughly two inserters should be enough. So three is definitely enough. And then I don't have to use angles 
So we'll do something like this. Can I craft one more of each right now? Yeah, we'll get two going. I'll need an underground belt or pipe or two. And we'll put that in the same spot. Yeah, they're not compatible right now. But, I mean, it would be doable. It just, you know, I, people have beat regular Pythodons, so I'm sure Space Exploration Pythodons would be beatable. It wouldn't be beatable easily. <laughs> and I think 10,000 hours might be a bit high on the estimate, but it would definitely be at least 1,000 for sure. Probably multiple thousands. All right, I'm just going to do that. And I can get rid of all this. Okay. I don't like that. Bingo, bingo. Oh, the ash. The ash. My boiler to engine ratio is incorrect. Is it? No, that's not what I meant to do in my head. Because the reason... Is it two boilers per engine? Because it says the available power is only 3.5 because the temperature, the steam temperature is only 250. So... It would only be able to output the 7.3 megawatts if it had 500 degree steam. So its capacity is 3.5 megawatts of power, like half of that, roughly. And this produces 3.7 megawatts worth of steam. So I'm pretty sure this is the right ratio. I'm aware this produces 7.5, and therefore this could consume 15 steam, but can it consume more than the... Can it consume double the amount? Oh, maybe it can. I was assuming it couldn't consume twice as much to make up for the power difference, but I guess maybe it can. Well, two boilers to one engine works better anyway, because I needed space to get the ash out. I was already thinking about doing this, um, although now I'm going to have to move it over a couple tiles, um, and then removing the steam, or the, what's, what's it called, ash, like that, and then I can have undergrounds doing this, kind of taking the ash out, so... <laughs> Pinodons with the randomizer recipe. Now that is a recipe for death. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if the randomizer could handle it. It probably would break. I don't think it would work. But in any case, um, I think we are going to call it a first episode there for the YouTube purposes because we're at an hour. But we've accomplished our first science and we are beginning to automate things, though I haven't gotten to actually automating in the buildings yet but we're getting there so as always for those of you on youtube let me know what you guys think down in the comments and i will see you in the next episode